PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, testing can often detect localized prostate cancers that are slow progressing. Current management after detection includes surveillance, prostatectomy, or radiotherapy, but the optimal management of such cancers is uncertain, and interventions often cause significant side effects. In the PROTECT trial, investigators randomized 1,643 men with localized prostate cancer who had a median age of 62 and a median PSA level of 4.6 micrograms per liter, 545 of them to active monitoring, 553 to radical prostatectomy, and 545 to radiotherapy. In the active monitoring group, changes in the serum PSA level were assessed every three months in the first year and every six to 12 months thereafter to monitor disease progression, and prostatectomy or radiotherapy could be used as necessary. A quarter of the active monitoring group received such treatment within three years, and more than half did by 10 years. At a median follow-up of 10 years, there were 17 prostate cancer-specific deaths. Eight were in the active monitoring arm, five in the prostatectomy arm, and four in the radiotherapy arm. There was thus no significant difference in the primary outcome of prostate cancer mortality at 10 years. All-cause mortality was also not different among the three groups but more patients with active monitoring had disease progression and metastases. Thus, active monitoring as compared with prostatectomy or radiotherapy for localized prostate cancer was associated with higher rates of disease progression and metastases, but no difference in prostate cancer-specific or all-cause mortality. The choice of management would appear to hinge on balancing the risks of progressive disease against the side effects of the interventions. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.